Hello. The purpose of this film is to talk about a number of educational principles appropriate for safety and health training and for the development of student safety competencies. The reason for this lecture is that you as an instructor need to be capable of managing your health and safety training session in the best possible way. The teaching method we wish to introduce to you is called the Process Oriented Educational Principles. But before we kick off, let's go through the agenda. Why do we need to apply other educational principles? The Process Oriented Approach for Health and Safety Training? What educational principles should be applied and what's the difference between traditional educational principles and the process oriented approach? How can the new educational approach be applied in the classroom? If you study this movie and the materials uploaded on the website embodysafety.com, you should be able to develop these educational teaching skills. And now let's meet the instructors for this movie. Jay and Jun have maritime backgrounds and are experienced instructors both in the academe and maritime training centers. They are accredited by the Danish Maritime Authority to conduct safety and health courses and have conducted various courses worldwide using the process oriented educational principles. So the first thing we will be addressing is the question why do we need to apply other educational principles for health and safety training. Remember, it's not what you learn that has the largest impact on your behavior. The way you learn something has a far more decisive impact. Or in other words, we need to create a learning environment that supports safety behavior we wish to develop. Okay, bearing this in mind, let's look at the learning goals of this type of training. The most important learning goals are the student shall understand that he or she is responsible for finding solutions to specific safety and health challenges. If they don't know the answer to a specific task, they are responsible for finding a good answer and they should not wait for their superiors to provide them with these answers. They are responsible for playing an active role in any specific safety and health activities. Students must be encouraged to develop the assertiveness, proactive conduct, and rhetorical capabilities. They must dare speak up, oppose, argue, and participate in finding of the best solution. It is easy to see that these learning goals are focused on behaviors and attitudes. Safety, in other words, is far more dependent on appropriate safety behaviors and attitudes rather than specific safety knowledge. If we are to develop these competencies, we have to design a learning environment that's in the highest degree possible support this learning process. For example, if we want the students to learn how to